I'm going after the president's tax returns. Right. I think they're critical. We really need to see those tax returns. People are going to care. They want to know if the president is a tax cheat. We think uh, that it will show us some connection of what do the Russians have on Donald Trump. For decades, presidential candidates have released their tax returns. And for years, President Trump told voters he would do the same. Maybe I'm going to do the tax returns when Obama does his birth certificate. If I decide to run for office, I'll produce my tax returns. What is your tax rate? Uh, it's none of your business. You'll see it when I release. At the appropriate time, I will release them. I mean, I became president. No, I don't think they care at all. Now with Democrats in control of the House, lawmakers are poised to seek the president's tax returns. We're keeping close to the vest when we're going to do this and how we're going to do this for obvious reasons. But uh, leadership agrees that this should be one of our priorities. New Jersey Democrat Bill Pascrell sits on the House Ways and Means Committee, one of three committees with the ability to request Trump's returns from the Secretary of the Treasury. Every citizen has a right to know if the president of the United States is challenged ethically. Since February 2017, House Democrats have made 17 attempts to request or release Trump's tax returns. All were shot down by House Republicans. Supporting this resolution would be a clear invasion of privacy. I would ask that all of our committee members that to take a step back for a moment and consider the dangerous precedent of abuse that would be set by this resolution. This is a very important piece of legislation. If this legislation we do not follow up on, then we are surrendering to the executive branch of government. Democrats plan to use a little-known 1924 provision in the federal tax code to request the president's tax returns. The provision was added during the Teapot Dome scandal that led to the first cabinet official sentenced to prison for bribery and conspiracy involving the leasing of public oil fields. The law does authorize uh, two specific rights to the tax uh, committees. Uh, they can obtain anyone's tax return information by requesting it from the Secretary of the Treasury, and they have the right to submit any of the information obtained to the full House or full Senate uh, for possible disclosure to the public. Over 40 years ago, Congress cited this provision when it released President Nixon's tax returns. The IRS ultimately ordered Nixon to pay over $400,000 in back taxes. I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. The demand to see the tax returns of presidential candidates really does grow out of Richard Nixon's presidency. Jimmy Carter ended up having to put a lot of his money from the peanut uh, farm business in a blind trust. George W. Bush, uh, who it was revealed had really immense wealth, lived with that revelation through the tax returns. And Romney's where we start to see some kind of a pushback. You know, I don't know how many years I'll release. I'll take a look at what, the, the, uh, uh, what our uh, documents are. The norm was established because of Richard Nixon. And so every candidate feared if you didn't do this, that it would be devastating politically. Voters wouldn't trust the candidate and the press would assume that the candidate was hiding things. So uh, Romney tests that assumption. He ends up releasing some material and then Trump is uh, altogether abandoned. Do you believe voters have a right to see your tax returns before they make a final decision? I don't think they do, but I, I do say this, uh, I will really gladly give them, they're not going to learn anything. It's pretty clear you can learn a lot through tax returns. It's not everything, uh, but it gives us some guide as to the wealth of a candidate, how they make their money, and if there is or is not a problem, at least with current investments and, and revenue, with the job that they hold. Democrats acknowledge acquiring Trump's taxes could be a drawn out process. I think it's a little more um, challenging than you might think. The chairman has the, you know, the right to ask for those returns and the president may feel that there's no law which forces him to do that and then we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the courts. If they start investigating you, that you can play that game and investigate them. better than them. Can you com can and you I compartmentalize that? And I that? think I know more than they know. If they do that, then it's just all it is is uh, a warlike posture.